Caste-related violence has occurred and occurs in India in various forms. According to a report by Human Rights Watch, Dalits and indigenous people known as scheduled castes and scheduled tribes or Adivasis continue to face discrimination, exclusion, and acts of communal violence. Laws and policies adopted by the Indian government provide a strong basis for protection, but are not being faithfully implemented by local authorities. Topic. 1968 Kilvamani Massacre, Tamil Nadu December 25, 1968 in which a group of C.44 striking Dalit untouchable village labourers were murdered by a gang, allegedly sent by their landlords, as they were demanding higher wages. Topic. 1981 Fulan Devi, Uttar Pradesh Fulan Devi 1963 was an Indian dacoit bandit, who later turned politician. Born into a traditional boatman class Mala family, she was kidnapped by a gang of dacoits. The Gujar leader of the gang tried to rape her, but she was protected by the deputy leader Vikram, who belonged to her caste. Later, an upper caste Thakur friend of Vikram killed him, abducted Fulan, and locked her up in the Bemai village. Fulan was raped in the village by Thakur men, until she managed to escape after three weeks. Fulan Devi then formed a gang of Malas, which carried out a series of violent robberies in north and central India, mainly targeting upper caste people. Some say that Fulan Devi targeted only the upper caste people and shared the loot with the lower caste people, but the Indian authorities insist this is a myth. Seventeen months after her escape from Bemai, Fulan returned to the village to take her revenge. On February 14, 1981, her gang massacred 22 Thakur men in the village, only two of which were supposedly involved in her kidnapping or rape. Fulan Devi later surrendered and served 11 years in prison, after which she became a politician. During her election campaign, she was criticized by the women widowed in the Bemai massacre. Kshatriya Swabiman Andolan Samanve Committee KSASC, a Kshatriya organization, held a statewide campaign to protest against her. She was elected a member of parliament twice. On July 25, 2001, Fulan Devi was shot dead by unknown assassins. Later, a man called Sher Singh Rana confessed to the murder, saying he was avenging the deaths of 22 Kshatriyas at Bemai. Although the police were skeptical of his claims, he was arrested. Rana escaped from Tihar jail in 2004. In 2006, KSASC decided to honor Rana for upholding the dignity of the Thakur community," and drying the tears of the widows of Bemai. <laughs> 1985, Karamcheju Massacre Karamcheju Massacre is a massacre which occurred in Karamcheju, Andhra Pradesh on 17 July 1985, where Madiga caste Dalits were killed by Kama then ruling caste in 1985. Many people lost their lives in the incident. Topic: 1990s, Ranveer Sena Ranveer Sena is a militia group based in Bihar. The group is based amongst the higher caste landlords, and carries out actions against the outlawed Naxals in rural areas. It has committed violent acts against Dalits and other members of the scheduled caste community in an effort to prevent their land from going to them. Topic: 1991 Suntar Andhra Pradesh. The village became infamous for the killing of eight Dalits on 6 August 1991, when a mob of over 300 people, composed of mainly Reddies and Talagas chased down the victims along the bund of an irrigation canal. This happened after police department asked locals to go aggressive against large number of eve-teasing outsiders entering village. In the trial which was concluded, 21 people were sentenced to life imprisonment and 35 others to a year of rigorous imprisonment and a penalty of 2,000 rupees each. On 31 July 2007, by special judge established for the purpose under SC, ST's Atrocities Prevention Act. <laughs> Topic. 1996 Bathani Tola Massacre, Bihar 
21 Dalits were killed by the Ranveer Sena in Bathani Tola, Bhojpur in Bihar on the 11th of July 1996. Among the dead were 11 women, 6 children and 3 infants. Ranveer Sena mob killed women and children in particular with the intention of deterring any future resistance which they foresaw. Six members of Namadan Ansari's family were slaughtered by Ranveer Sena according to the Namadan Ansari's witness statement. The fur was lodged against 33 persons the day after the massacre. Nyamadan was a bangle seller at the time of the carnage, whose three-month-old daughter was killed. Widespread claims suggest they were killed by Ranveer Sena aggressors. Namadan's seven-year son Saddam was attacked and his face was mutilated by sword lacerations. On 17 April 2012, the Patna High Court acquitted 23 men convicted of the murders. A division bench of judges Navniti Prasad Singh and Ashwani Kumar Singh cited defective evidence to acquit all of them. The next day, the Bihar State SC, Saint Welfare Minister Jitin Ram Manji stated that the NDA-led government under Nitish Kumar had decided to move to Supreme Court challenging the Patna HC order. A Ranveer Sena sympathizer, who spoke to the Hindu correspondent Shumojit Banerjee, justified the reactionary mobilization of the upper castes against those Naxals. The land is ours. The crops belong to us. The laborers did not want to work, and also hampered our efforts by burning our machines and imposing economic blockades. So, they had it coming. Post Bathani Tola carnage, there were several retaliatory Naxal attacks, killing at least 500 upper caste civilians, as well as attacks on Dalits and laborers organized by the Ranveer Sena in Laxmanpur Bathe and Sankarbiga, in which 81 Dalits were killed. The counsel for the witness, Anand Vatsayan, expressed being shocked at the High Court verdict and reportedly said that sufficient evidence were at hand to uphold the judgment passed by the Era Sessions Court. The Supreme Court guidelines in the event of a massacre are quite clear. The eyewitnesses need not remember all the names. And, of the six prime witnesses questioned in this case, all had conclusively pointed fingers at the persons convicted by the lower court. <laughs> 1996 Malavalavu murders In the village of Malavalavu, in Tamil Nadu's Madurai district, following the election of a Dalit to the village council presidency, members of a higher caste group murdered six Dalits in June 1996. Melar Panchayat, which was a general constituency, was declared a reserved constituency in 1996. This had caused resentment between scheduled caste people and Kalar community. In the 1996 Panchayat elections, Muriyesan was elected president. In June 1996, a group of persons attacked Muriyesan, Vice President Moakan, and others with deadly weapons, resulting in the death of six persons and injuries to many others. A total of 40 persons were cited as accused in the case. The trial court convicted Aligarsami and 16 others and sentenced them to undergo life imprisonment. On appeal, the High Court by its judgment dated April 19, 2006, confirmed the trial court's order. Aligarsami and others filed appeals against this judgment. <laughs> 1997 Laxmanpur Bathe Carnage, Bihar On 1 December 1997, Ranveer Sena gunned down 58 Dalits at Laxmanpur Bathe in retaliation for the Bara massacre in Gaya where 37 upper castes were killed. In particular, a specific Bumahar community of upper castes was targeted in retaliation for their opposition towards handing out their land for land reform. Charges were framed in the Laxmanpur Bathe case against 46 Ranveer Sena men on December 23, 2008. On the 7th of April 2010, sentenced 16 convicted persons to death out of the 26 convicted at Patna Court. Announcing the judgment, additional district judge Vijay Prakash Mishra sentenced to life imprisonment the remaining 10 convicts and imposed a fine of 50,000 rupees on each. Around 91 of 152 witnesses in the case had deposed before the court. Topic: 1997 Ramabai killings, Mumbai. On the 11th of July 1997, a statue of B.R. Ambedkar in the Dalit colony of Ramabai was desecrated by unknown individuals. 
An initially peaceful protest was fired on by the police, killing ten people, including a bystander who had not been involved in the protests. Later in the day, 26 people were injured when the police carried out a lathi charge against the protesters. Commentators suggested that the arbitrarily violent response from the police had been the result of caste-based prejudice, as the leader of the team stood accused in multiple cases involving caste-based discrimination. Topic: 1999 Bant Singh case, Punjab. In January 1999 four members of the village panchayat of Bungar Kara village in Abohar paraded a handicapped Dalit woman, Ramvati Devi naked through the village. No action was taken by the police, despite local Dalit protests. It was only on July 20 that the four panchayat members and the head Ramesh Lal were arrested, after the State Home Department was compelled to order an inquiry into the incident. On the evening of January 5, 2006, Bant Singh, Mazabi, Dalit Sikh, was attacked by unknown assailants. His injuries necessitated medical amputation. He alleges that this was in retaliation for actively working to secure justice for his daughter, who was gang raped by upper caste members of his village in Punjab five years earlier. A 55 year old Dalit Sikh woman, Sawinder Kaur, has been tortured, stripped, and tied to a tree in Ram Duali village of Punjab because her nephew eloped with a girl from the same community. The police arrested four persons for allegedly committing the crime on 9 September 2007. Topic: 2000 Kambalapali Incident, Karnataka. On the 11th of March 2000, seven Dalits were locked in a house and burnt alive by an upper caste Reddy mob in Kambalapali, Kolar district of Karnataka state. The Civil Rights Enforcement (CRE) cell investigation revealed deep-rooted animosity between the Dalits and the upper castes as the reason for the violence. A division bench of Karnataka High Court acquitted all 46 accused in August 2014. The bench, headed by Justice Mohan Shantanagadar, held that a conviction would be prejudicial to the interest of the accused, given that 14 years had passed since the incident and all the 22 eyewitnesses had since turned hostile. The court also observed that the investigating police officer and some of the eyewitnesses were not cross-examined properly. The witnesses in the case, many of whom had narrowly escaped with their lives, had turned hostile during the trial in a lower court, resulting in a similar acquittal in 2006. Immediately after that verdict was delivered, many of the witnesses told the media that they backtracked because of threats from upper caste groups. A subsequent plea for a retrial was rejected by the high court. Topic: 2003 Muthanga Incident, Kerala. On the 19th of February 2003, the Adivasis tribals gathered under Adivasi Gothra Mahasba (ADMs) at Muthanga faced 18 rounds of police firing, in which two fatal casualties were confirmed officially. The tribals gathered in protest to the government's delay in allotting them land, which was signed in October 2001. Later, the casualty toll had reached five deaths among the tribals. Vinod, a police constable who died, was also a Dalit. <laughs> 2006 Kerlanji Massacre Maharashtra On September 29, 2006, four members of the Bhatmanj family belonging to the Maher community were killed by a mob of 40 people belonging to the Maratha Kunbi caste. The incident happened in Kerlanji, a small village in Bandara district of Maharashtra. The Mahers are Dalit, while the Kunbi are classified as an other backward class by the government of India. The Bhatmanjas were stripped naked and paraded to the village square by a mob of 40 people. The sons were ordered to rape their mother and sister, and when they refused, their genitals were mutilated before they were murdered. An initial call to the police was ignored, and a search for the bodies was deliberately delayed two days. The bodies were found in a canal, and due to the length of time the bodies were in the water, much of the physical evidence was contaminated or destroyed. The subsequent police and political inaction led to protests from Dalits. After allegations of a cover-up, the case was transferred to the Central Bureau of Investigation (CBI). Maharashtra's Home Minister and Indian National Congress leader R. R. Patil claimed that the Dalit protests were motivated by extremist elements. 
A government report on the killings implicated top police officers, autopsy doctors and the local BJP MLA Madakar Kukade for covering up. A local court convicted eight people, sentencing six of them to death and the other two to life. However, the death sentences were later commuted to life by the Nagpur bench of the Bombay High Court. The High Court declared that the murders were motivated by revenge, not caste. Topic: 2006 Dalit protests in Maharashtra. In November to December 2006, the desecration of an Ambedkar statue in Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh, triggered violent protests by Dalits in Maharashtra. Several people remarked that the protests were fueled by the Kerlanji massacre. During the violent protests, the Dalit protesters set three trains on fire, damaged over 100 buses and clashed with police at least four deaths and many more injuries were reported. 2008 caste violence in Rajasthan In the Indian province of Rajasthan, between the years 1999 and 2002, crimes against Dalits average at about 5,024 a year, with 46 killings and 138 cases of rape. 2011 killings of Dalits in Mirchpur, Haryana In 2011, Dalits were killed by upper caste in Mirchpur village in Narnand, sub-district of Hisar. The houses of Dalits were burned hence causing them to flee the village. 2012 Dharmapuri violence In December 2012 approximately 268 dwellings, huts, tiled roof and one or two room concrete houses of Dalits of the Adi Dravida community near Naikankatai in Dharmapuri district of western Tamil Nadu were torched by the higher caste Vaniyar. The victims have alleged that systematic destruction of their properties and livelihood resources has taken place. In December 2012, in case of caste violence, two men named Akbar Ali and Mustafa Ansari were beaten by Muslims. 2013 Marikanam violence, Tamil Nadu In April 2013, violence broke out between the villagers along East Coast Road near Marikanam and those travelling to Vaniyar dominant caste gathering at Mamalapuram. A mob indulged in setting fire to houses, four buses of TNSTC and PRTC, three people were injured in police firing. Traffic was closed in ECR for a day. 2015 Jat Dalit violence in Dongawas, Rajasthan On Thursday, May 14, 2015, clashes between Jats and Dalits in Dongawas village of Rajasthan's Nagore district left four people dead and 13 injured. 2016 Rohith Vemula suicide in Central University of Hyderabad The suicide of Rohith Vemula on 18 January 2016 sparked protests and outrage from across India and gained widespread media attention as an alleged case of discrimination against Dalits and backward classes in India in which elite educational institutions have been purportedly seen as an enduring vestige of caste-based discrimination against students belonging to backward classes. Twenty sixteen Saharanpur violence The violence broke out during the procession of Rajput warrior King Maharana Pratap over the loud music. In the violence, one man was killed, sixteen were injured, and twenty five Dalit houses were burned. The incident was connected to the BJP MP from Saharanpur Raghav Lakanpal. Topic 2018 Sam Rao violence, Jodhpur, Rajasthan. 
On the evening of 14 January 2018, clashes between Jats and Rajputs in Samrao village of Rajasthan's Jodhpur district burned shops and houses of many innocent people, and destroyed the Rala king's residence. April 2018 Kachanatham, Sivagangai Tamil Nadu, May 28, 2018 Dominant caste Hindus were enraged that Dalits did not present temple honours to an upper caste family, and a Dalit man sat cross-legged in front of upper caste men. Dominant caste members also were enraged when Dalits protested the sale of marijuana in the area by people from a neighboring village and intimidated and threatened the Dalits, when the Dalit caste protested the intimidation and threats from the dominant castes in the village with the local police in retaliation a gang of 15 dominant caste members raided the Dalit village at night attacking people indiscriminately killing three and injuring six. See also Communalism South Asia Religious harmony in India